One thing about this Ravens team, there is no shortage of storylines here. Remember, we picked up OBJ, then there's Zay Flowers, and of course, the deal to hold on to Lamar Jackson. But there is one storyline that seems like it is straight out of Hollywood. Ravens outside linebackers, Adafi Owe and David Ajabo, they became best friends in high school. Now they find themselves carrying the Ravens pass rush. And as 11 Sports Pete Gilbert explains, they are bonded like brothers. What's changed from a year ago? Yeah, um, you know, obviously, like, going into my second year, like, there was a lot of stuff. Like, I think I told you then, there's a lot of stuff I didn't know that I didn't know. And I'll say that's, that I would say the same for that my second year. Um, you know, coming off injury and then, you know, um, you know, just expectations and stuff like that. But coming into this year, you know, I, I just feel like I have a lot of things under my belt in terms of experience, things I've seen, and then what, you know, the coaching staff, you know, expects of me and everything. So I feel like I'm in a good position to make a, a big impact. You mentioned the coaching staff, Chuck yeah. Smith, his arrival. Read an awful lot about, we've talked with him, talked with David about, you know, just kind of what he has brought to the, the energy and hearing it from a guy mm -hmm. who's got almost 60 sacks in his NFL career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is he, what has he meant to you in, in preparing for year three? No, nah, he's really meant a lot just because, you know, I've never really had a coach that's played the actual position that he's coaching me in. So for him to give me certain insight that, you know, I can relate to, it's like, it's like night and day, you know? So I really appreciate, you know, ha like having him there and then all the things that he's teaching me outside of the football field in terms of mentality that you have to have within, you know, you know, rehab, how you got to carry yourself as a professional, and, you know, just that swagger, you know. A year ago, though, you know, it started out, I think, for like the first six, seven games, you're playing 80% of the snaps, and then yeah. it dropped off, yeah. and then you finished strong. Yeah. What was that journey like? I imagine at point, points, humbling. Yeah, no, like, it's exactly the perfect word. It was humbling, and, you know, I came into the season, you know, kind of a little bit too ahead of, you know, what, it, what, what I, you know, where I was, mm -hmm. obviously, but, you know, I feel like that was such a, a, a learning experience for me that I needed, you know, going through it, through it, it, it was, it was trash. It was terrible. It was definitely terrible, but like you I said, I didn't see that smile. Whole I, no, nah, you did not see the smile. You didn't see my face a lot, but you know, I was in, I was in the, in the lab, you know, just trying to craft myself and get prepared for, you know, this year. And, you know, after see the end of the season, you know, I, I ended on a good note. So I just want to carry that into the season. I also think too, what was interesting in off season wise, Eric DeCosta's approach, yeah. He's putting a lot of faith mm -hmm. in you and your abilities, and what has that feel? I mean, it's it's a blessing, you know, because uh, that's who I, I I believe I am, you know, and to have someone like EDC and the whole upstairs to believe in me as, as, as well is, is really humbling. But like, I take a lot of pride in that, and I work so hard for it, man. So I'm just ready for my opportunity. Like, you can't really even understand how ready I am. For I it, see man. that it, you're I'm bursting, so ready, man. I'm I mean, so here ready. we are. You just practice in a hundred degree heat, yeah. and sit out here, and you're fired up again. Hey, man, I'm ready to go practice again. The return of Ravens season also means the return of Ravens wrap up. You can catch that show with 11 Sports Pete Gilbert every Sunday, beginning at 11:30 p.m. right here on WBAL TV 11.